Hey y'all, my name is Casey Coop, and welcome back to another episode of One Shot. Um, I've actually exited out of the game like numerous times because I kept forgetting something, and I learned that when you're exiting out of the game, there's no save or load feature, it's just an auto save, I, I assume, and basically you're leaving Nico in the dark. He does, you're not there, you're not answering, and he gets scared, and that really, that really hurts my heart. Like, I'm so sorry, little dude. Okay. Let's try to figure out what the heck we're supposed to be doing. Okay. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers are still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks are mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of their workforce gets replaced by robots, we found ourselves with surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. You know, I think we walked into an area that needed gas mass. It was like hard for him to breathe or something. So let me just go back in the direction we can find a gas mask. Let's see. A little bit faster now, little dude. Am I you, dude? So how is everyone today? Everyone good? Yes? No? Maybe so? Possibly? Alive? Breathing? You're breathing, right? If you're not breathing, you might want to get that checked out. This is a little robot dude. I've talked to it first. A little robot messenger person. Okay. Mm. I think I passed up another one of the things that I came out of, actually. Like, no. Like, was it this one? No. Hmm. Maybe... I might have saw it before I went to the gas thing. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Maybe over here? Okay, that's the little guy. Are you working? Um, hello? Hmm. Are, you are you there? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> it's just like an asshole move to say you no. Know. There's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power, and its strings are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross the ocean to get to the tower. Maybe we can find some oil for the little guy or something. Okay, let's see. Oh, here! This is the one I walked past, I think. Ooh! What are you? It's a metal pipe! Must have broken off of one of these terminals. Ooh, I love that noise. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore. Ignore. Okay, there was a mashy thing. I did it off camera. There's a little mashy mash thingy. I don't know what to call it. A uh, mashy mashy. Mash mash. Smash. Mechanical smash. Mechanical hulk thing. Let's see. Down, 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 down. Little feet. The little feet. Come on. Uh, oh god, I have hiccups. Uh, oh god, stop it. Okay, it's gone. Okay. Is it here? No, okay, this is a little messenger bot person thing. Okay. Here, okay. Maybe we can use this. Okay, let's go here. Uh, uh, do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Casey Coop? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. It'll be fine. Oh god. That was scary. Did you get it? We made a crowbar! Yay! Now we can go beat people up with it. Mm. Oh. What if we just end the game right here? He's a coop! I'm not gonna put the sun here. Fine. I had an achievement for that. <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay. Um... Let's go... Here. Because we've been everywhere to the left already. I really don't know where I am. Am I like on a moon or something? There's nothing up there. I don't know what I need a crowbar for, but I mean, if I have it, maybe it's a weapon. Where am I going? Where am I going? 
I don't know where the road will take me. I'm not very good at thinking. Now this is where he can breathe, right? Yeah. I see something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go. Maybe if you close your eyes. Wait, no, no, never mind. You don't breathe through your eyes. I'm not dumb, I swear. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, no. Okay, this just is like a big old maze of stuff. So let's go this way. No, can I go this way? Yeah. What's this up here? Is it like a terminal? A metal safe. Looks like it's locked with a six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. Do you, Casey Coop? Yeah, I don't. No, no, no. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember seeing any code, so. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Um, is there anything here? Yeah, I read that already. Okay, let's go back. Why aren't you guys helping me? I don't know where I'm doing. Okay, let's go down, 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 down. Hmm. Okay, maybe I didn't go down all the little paths. that go this way. And up, 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 up. No, up, come on. Up, 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 up. Go to the... Oh god, it lagged and it was really weird. Not that frame rate. Have we been here? Okay, no, we haven't been here yet. Well, the clovers to my bedroom. A robot. No power, just like the rest. Okay. Mm. In here? Oh! Hello! Uh, are you a boy or are you a girl? The light bulb. So are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. At least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? I'm sort of cat. Uh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Boy. Okay. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. Ugh. This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. So optimistic, this one. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This matter of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? You must be heading towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb or sun, isn't it? Yes, on the very top. You know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. Yeah, it's called electricity. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. That's it? Nothing else? No? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. I'm just gonna leave this person alone. I see a sparkly. Can I get this? Can I have... Something is poking out of the shelf! Uh, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you! Using it as a bookmark, like, okay. Jeez. Let's see. Where was these little light bulbs? A jar full of glowing shrimp. I mean, fireflies? They're kind of floating. The top is covered with a wire mesh. Hmm. A bed. It's made of metal. Doesn't look very comfortable. It's a crate. The metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a long time. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons have that capacity in their programming. Nobody is here is tamed for that matter. What is tamed? Like, is it, there's no, it's so weird. What's this? Dear, so 
silver. I heard the news about the mines. I am sorry. I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are be called robots. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Yep. Hmm. What's this? Please do not touch that. Oh! Sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It cannot even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Touch. This is some kind of power cell, apparently. The word silver is written on the side. Why does it say that? That's not important. Okay. Touch. Ow! I got shocked. I told you not to touch it. Casey Coop made me. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> uh... hmm. So I got a screwdriver and a crowbar. What's this? Is that a rock? Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. So, once and then nothing? It looks so tiny though, like it's just a big old rock with a hole in it. Oh, thanks! How'd you unlock it? It was just rope. More lantern with shrimp. Ooh, shiny! There's a little gadget on the ground. This kinda looks like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. That's comforting. Or not. I don't know. Ooh. Can I dissect it? No. Watch your horses. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Okay. Done. Now I have lenses. And my screwdriver somehow dis disappeared into the void, but, you know, whatever. Um. What else is there? Let's see. Can we explore the cave, or... Oh, big old huge space. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead, anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. What propelled the world into that industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Oh, Silver has a heart. Why'd you look at me? Like, okay, I didn't do that. He looked at me like, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to the area we came from. Ready to leave? Mm-hmm. Nothing else there, so... Let's go back to where we started. Isn't there... I accidentally clicked something before that was like a fast travel... There we go. Got it. And let's... Okay, this is where we are, I think. The lookout? No, or this. Let's go here. This is where we started. Maybe we can mash some more stuff. with you. Can I go inside here? Oh, I never knew I could go inside. Well, what's this? It won't turn on. Fine. Okay. What's this? It's shiny. What's this say? Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Is it this thing? The box looks interesting. 
I wish I had something to pry it open with. <gasps> Luckily, we have our trusty crowbar. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the inside. Hmm. So we got a broken battery. One. A robot may not injure a living person or, through inaction, allow a person to come to harm. Like a robot greed. Two. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Mm. Easy laws. Oh, map of the world. Stop it. Looks like someone threw in kindergarten. That's nothing. Okay. Just robot. What's this? The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. Are we talking about Silver? I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. I'm talking about Silver. Let's see what's in here. A page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high, as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker, and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single... The rest of the page is unreadable. Okay, is this another battery? Oh, we got that already. It's a power cell, I think. Oh! Ford Profit Bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. Oh, okay, so this... There was a, something like this in Silver's house, and it said Silver on the side, and so this is for that little bot that's outside, the little messenger bot. Now what's this? It's like a butt. That's a big machine! It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangular shaped hole in the middle. It looks like something used to fit in here. Is it for this? Apparently our battery has some broken glass. Can we use... No, like this and this? No! Oh, the lens pops right in! What else am I supposed to put in here? Mm, maybe the light bulb? We're using the sun directly on the battery? I don't know, I guess. It's like a little light bulb shaped hole. I would have never thought of that, me either. Thank you, Casey Coop. Thank you, I know, I'm awesome. Ah, oh, it looks like it's already fully charged. Oh, it did say that... What did it say that the battery... One of the little pages said that the battery would charge as long as it's in underneath the light of the sun. Cool. Can I put it here? Okay. Let's get this. Put it here. Let's hope the charged battery does something. Fingers crossed. Whoa! His eyes are so cute. Yes, let's see what this did. It's like I gave some power. Oh, the robots are alive! Look at you! I am functional! Did you power that generator? I guess we did. Right, Casey Coop? Yay! I am functional! I can walk! <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, you robot. Okay, so this is on now. Oh god. The music changes and it's so creepy. I see you've made progress in the world, Casey Coop. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. We saw a box earlier, a safe anyway, and I was like, I don't know the code to it, so maybe they'll give me the code? Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Okay, I got a pop-up. Do you understand what this means, Casey Coop? Yes. Good, start looking. I wonder if it's like in the game's actual files. That's the only thing I could think of. Um, let's see. Let's see. That's really creative if that's the case, though. Okay, let's see. Sorry you guys can't see this, I don't think. Okay. Let's see. Do we have anything in here that could be that? No? Um... I don't think so. No? For a code? 
This game is lying to me. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, what's this? Um. Okay, that's not it. Um, I'm seeing like a whole bunch of other stuff that I think is for other parts in the game. So I'm just like, okay. Uh, the awkward silence. I don't know. Oh, wait. I don't think I should be looking in the game. Maybe my actual computer computer. Huh. Guys, I'm having trouble. Don't hate me. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hmm. Oh, I see it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You can't see it, but I'll read it to you guys. Dear... Message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, a part of which is written in a language that... Read it and you will know what to do. I have also looked for a metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is 606718. 606718. Okay, let's find that guy. 606718. Don't forget. Remember for me, okay? okay let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before I forget, because I will forget. Come on, come on. 606718. Okay, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait. I can. We're getting here. Fast travel. Uh, well, this, maybe the, I think, this was the area, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, let's get to find it, because I will forget, and... Oh, here, 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 here. Okay, 60, 67, 18. Oh, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Casey Coop? Magic. I still don't remember seeing one. We gotta pay attention. I had some help, let's be honest. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, wait, let's see. Uh, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. It's like, what well, well, language? God. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh god. What is that? It's a malfunction. Can we talk to it? No? Now I'm just gonna go away from that. That's weird. Okay, let's go back to the gassy area. Ha. Huh, the gassy area. I'm funny. Okay. Put on the mask, Nico. I should be fine with this mask on. Darn it, Nico. Okay. Let's see. Anything here? Anything interesting? Another factory thing. Hi, little robot. What's this? It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Mm, that works too. Mm. The door is all boarded up. The board seem loose though. Should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Thankfully, we have our lucky drum roll, please. Crowbar. Go, oh, crowbar. Good thing I kept this crowbar. Strong kid. What a workout. Okay, should we go in here now? Hmm. It's like robots that are still being made, but I guess it stopped because the world started to die. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. Hmm. 
This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Two, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Three, shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Four, use as soon as possible. Note, element begins to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Kissy Coop. God. Shiny! A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Oh my god, what was that thing called, um... Oh, I forgot, it was like a Spongebob reference. Oh my god. Ah, I don't remember what the... <laughs> it was stupid. It was like... Oh god, I can't remember. Okay, there was nothing on the right, I don't think, so... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go back to the left. There? Another little notebook thing. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesty looks practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Check your eyes, bruh. Oh, no more gas mask. That works. Um... Hello. You have a skirt. Um. Eh. Hello. Oh. What are you doing here? I don't hate do voices. Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Greetings. Reading you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. It really is. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Huh. Why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. What is... What do you mean? I know what taming means, but what does it mean for robots? Because they're man-made, so shouldn't they be technically tamed already? Um... Is that it? By the way, some robots may start following you around the settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. this little area. Looks like they've evacu they're evacuating the few tame robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. So, is the engineer tame? The silver? Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares. We did see some squares back there. Don't... <laughs> If you're not going to be around, be square. <laughs> I'm not sure what they mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. We work so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough to transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Can we go up here? Looks like little dormitories. Or, yeah. I'm scared of ladders. Gee, so helpful there, Nico. It's a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. So you just go and stomp on, stomp on all of their little battery packs, and they're just pretty much screwed, I guess. Hmm. Is there anything? Oh, God. Hello. Hello, little robot. Great. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? It's not really escorting if you're following me around, but okay. There's another little area. He doesn't like going up ladders, so. 
Thanks. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space, but at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Hmm. There's another little area. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least, not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Hmm. Nothing else in here. Well, at least the robots are back on. I felt kind of bad for them that they're just offline. It wasn't very fair. Have I been here already? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Let's see, let's go further to the left. One in there. I haven't gone in here. What's this? Another dormitory? Yeah. What's this? A picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Casey Coop, or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Because they're also, like, kind of artificial intelligent, like in that visual novel to do today. Choice is pretty awesome. Yeah! So. You know, it's not really a robot, it's AI, but, you know, you know what I mean. Okay, there's another big pool of little shrimpies. Oh, look, a hospital thing, I think. Can you... Infirmary. Hello. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected, none. Treatment required, none. You are good to go. Uh, thanks? Hello, little nurse bot. Hello, person. Are you seeking an admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Ooh, shiny. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Ooh, about to inject stuff. Ooh, about to play doctor. Okay, uh, is there any other area? There's this. Is it another dormitory? There's this. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's kind of be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. He author? I can't just throw them away. E author? Who's that? Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in an awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aw. I'm gonna make Nico miss his mom because he is still just a kid messiah or not. I don't think he even knows what a messiah even is. Okay, let's go this way. Hmm. Another gassy area. Hmm. I know we're trying to get to the tower. I guess we need to figure out how to get that robot working. Robot working. Maybe find something to oil them up with? Or... Hmm. Eee, what is this? Book it. Hey, book it. This pond sure looks different. The water looks like... Jelly? It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. So it's like these, but covered with the bulging pimple thing. Um, maybe we can take some- I know there was something that said to collect something on one of those papers? Hmm. Let's see. on it. So, we're filling up the syringe, Casey Coop? I guess it's kind of like a funnel, but the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Try it anyway. Hey, it actually went in. That's what he said. Gross. <laughs> it's like he responded back to it. Okay. Uh, can we go back? Oh, look. The little thingies. Hmm. 
I haven't seen these before. Can we get stuff from them? Hmm. I don't want to go back just yet. Maybe we can use the bottle on one of these? Hmm. Maybe? I think we're supposed to get some of that. Hmm. Park, I didn't know I could fast travel with maps. I've just been walking the entire time like a dumbass. Uh, it's typical me, typical me. Oh, wait, can I go this way? Oh, yeah, okay, got it. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the parent. He found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologist concluded that the phosphorus shrimp and the crater pools are actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glens. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Yet yeah, you keep them in little tiny jars. Is this one your height? Can you use it? Oops. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Casey Coop? That ought to do it! Ooh, what did the paper say? It said to like mix it or something? Um. Let's mix the bottle of smoke with the filter wrench. So, I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Casey Coop? It's like I'm a doctor! Don't do this at home, kids. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color! And then we should... Maybe put it on the sponge, then we can rub it on the robot. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge, Casey Coop? Good thing I have these gloves! I hope this works. Okay, so... I'm gonna leave it here. In the next video of One Shot, I... We are going to go and try to see if this stuff will actually work on Mr. Robot so we can get him all greased up and ready to get back to work. Because he needs to get back to work. You're not getting paid no cookies for not working. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.